Good morning, MBE. It's Wednesday, April the 8th, and this is your Call of the Wild. Speaking of Call of the Wild, our on-site broadcast yesterday out in the forest didn't quite go as planned, and so we're back in the studio today but we've learned some valuable lessons about broadcasting in the wild and hopefully everything will get back to normal and we'll try that again soon. Many of you had emailed and commented on Facebook to make sure I was all right. And as you can tell, I'm looking great and feeling fine. So no need to worry. I can handle myself out in the wild as you can clearly see. Let's look at the weather today. We've got uh, mainly sunny skies today. It's still a bit windy out there like it was uh, yesterday. Currently minus seven, but with that wind, it feels a little bit more like minus 12. Good news is though in the afternoon, we'll see a mix of sun and cloud. Still a little bit breezy, but the good news is we'll see a high of plus five degrees. So it should be a nice day and a lot of melting. So that's a good thing. Oh, uh, let's talk about our real country radio student of the week. Nyla Frank, definitely proud of you. You know it's Nyla Frank week here at MBE and for a very good reason because you are real country radio student of the week for being an amazing student, an amazing kid and a great ambassador for MBE. So you can expect a package in the mail. Nyla should be there, went out yesterday, should be there fairly soon with some goodies for you from uh, Real Country Radio, and you're definitely deserving of those, so enjoy those when they arrive. Short broadcast today, which is good because I probably need to go lay down, but uh, no MB birthdays in the building today, so that is uh, an unusual day for us, but the good news is I see there's a couple on the list for tomorrow, so we'll get to those tomorrow. Today, oh, another animal day. Today is World Zoo Lovers Day. And it's a day set aside to recognize the importance of zoos and how much we can learn from zoos, uh, especially by visiting. Uh, visiting zoos is a great way to educate yourself about animals and the conservation and protection of animals. But of course, with the way things are right now, we can't get to a zoo, or can we? You can get to a zoo actually. And if you go online and you search under zoo webcams, uh, these are cameras that are set up in zoos around the world on the animal enclosures so you can actually look at animals up close and see what they're doing. There are hundreds of these around the world so if you search you will find lots. I was looking this morning let's just see if I can pull one up right now and let's see I've got at the Tennessee Zoo I've got the penguin enclosure at the Tennessee Zoo coming up. So if you have a look at that, you will see the penguins are in there. They're not too active right now, but you can look at them. They're moving around. Looks like they're having kind of a rest. There's this guy in the middle here. Looks like he's uh, had a rough day. I know how he feels. Maybe he was out in the wild broadcasting yesterday, poor fella. No matter what though, you will get to see all kinds of animals. It might be a good day to go searching and see what's up so happy searching out there on world zoo lovers day i hope you find some stuff i hope you learn a lot about uh, zoo animals and as always work hard today take care of one another and remember we got this see you tomorrow kids <laughs>